it's Christina. Welcome back. And we are on, I believe this is day four of our um, planner journal. And I'm going to make this one very short, simple. I've already go ahead, went ahead and did what it was I was going to do in this video to um, finish this up. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done. There is where I outlined. I wrote planner and I wrote the year that's in here. And you can't, there we go. I outlined it with my light pink um, gel pen and it looks really good so I went on all of these little tabs and wrote in the month um, and then over here on my yearly goal page oh well I shouldn't turn it that way let's turn the book <laughs> I wrote yearly goals and I like the hand like handwriting stuff because I'm gonna be writing in here and it just adds my own special touch to it it's not perfect, you know what, but it makes it fun. And then I outlined, I used um, just my pink, um, I used, I have crazy art markers. I have a fetish with different coloring tools, and it has like a big pack of the crazy art markers. And I like those just for, you know, regular coloring. And um, so I took my pink and drew it out and colored it, and then I outlined it with a black gel pen. Which I just realized I gotta go back in and do the A right there. So that's it. And I know, you know, I'm starting in September. There's only, you know, a couple months left of this year. But I'm gonna go ahead and jot some down that I wanna get done before the end of the year. And I guess I did this a little too short because we'll not bend. It's not gonna stay down. So I'm gonna have to run another strip here. So I've already went ahead and did my lines for everything. And I did put one at the top. I don't know what I'll either, you know, doodle something up there just to dress this up or something. And then I dropped down seven lines. And I did use a gel roller pen, a black one. Um, I did not want to use a permanent marker. But that's why I used a gel roller pen because it's still dark, but it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So, I just went along here. Yeah, I screwed up on the date right there, so I had to make it big. But, um, so on the side, you get these little boxes, if you do it the way I did it. And so, that's where I just wrote my days and the date. And then, on the bottom line of each section, I wrote dinner. That way, when I go to go grocery shopping, I can open this up and write down everything that I need on my shopping list for that dinner. Um, and then you get this also, I went ahead and drew a line here. And I wrote here, projects. Because I'm going to, you know, plan my projects out by day. And then I'll write what I want to do for that day right here. That way, when I go to get the supplies for everything, I can pull it all at one time. And it's right there. And it just makes it so things go so Like, if I want to make, you know, one day I want to do card sets. I'll write in card sets right here. And, yeah, just like that. So, that is a look at the full week. I did it on both pages. And then you'll get this little extra section down here. Why did I like, see, look, not paying attention. I'm going to have dinner with my notes. <laughs> but, um, I just wrote out notes in this extra little section. Um, so, uh, if I need, you know, to rem remember something and I don't need it on a special day, I'll just write it down there or something. I'm just, my notes, there's a little extra section. So, I did that, and I've done the whole month of September, or the rest of September. And then back here, I wrote September at the top. That way I don't get confused with, between this one and this one. Um, this is September's. And I split this in half. And the bottom half is journal and the top half is goals. This is my goal. This will be my where my goals for the week or for the month go. Mm -hmm. thing. Okay, camera cut off. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so in the top half, I'm going to put my uh, monthly goals and what I want to accomplish for that month. And, um... Here, I'll just journal about that month and you know, if I accomplished those goals and how I think that month went and yada, yada, yada. So whatever you want. I mean, you don't even have to do it this way, of course. You can do it how you want it, whatever suits your needs. Um, I just want to show you this because I am going to go through. So, I may end up doing, you know, um, maybe a month-to-month -month video on this. I don't know. Or once I just get. But I wanted to show you guys. The top is pretty thick, but it's starting to kind of flatten out a little bit <laughs> once it's completely dry. In. But I don't like, you know, the little bit, the little bit of bow that it has. It just 
to me adds, you know, uniqueness. But, um, let me know if you want me to do, like, a month to month. I'm going to go through and really decorate up these pages. I may, I'll, of course, I'll have to do it, you know, as the months come. That way I can get, you know, just little stickers and stuff like that. Um, but I did kind of do a little something extra already to my October, uh, my October page. If you look right there on the edge, just for some reason reminds me of, like, little spider webs. And it's just some really thick, actually, um, decorative tape that I picked up at Dollar Tree that I had in my stash. I thought it was pretty. It reminds me of spider webs, so <laughs> that's why I added that on my Halloween page. Um, I won't do too much decorating to this, but I may add, like, a spider or something like that. This is already pretty decorated, though. So, I haven't finished the rest of the month. I just wanted to go ahead and show you how I am going to write these out. And, um, yeah, I will do some decorating. So, I may take this in month by month. And, of course, do the little, you know, plan with me section or something. I don't know, just something fun. Um, if you have any suggestions on how I should do it, leave the comments down below. And just have fun with this journal. I did. Um, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a recipe book. Um, so I will probably do, oops, sorry, I have both cameras. So I will probably do a process video with that. Um, and maybe share some of the recipes that I find with you guys on my blog. So, alright guys, if you liked all this, you know, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, whatever way it is. I think it'd be over here, over here, wherever it is. Be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos. I will have, now that I have this going, I can start planning everything out and I will start doing videos for you guys. Um, process videos and things like that. So, yeah, that'll be all. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.